potable water is a rare commodity in most of the savannah region. The situation gets worse in the dry Hamatan season right into the warm season and into the early months of the rainy season. The savannah regional capital, Damangu, is usually one of those hardest hit. As the dry season begins, many women and children and men alike will walk or ride kilometers before they get potable water for the use of their households. To mitigate the crisis in the area, the Gonjaland Youth Association has provided four mechanized and one hand pump water facilities to five communities. The water systems were provided with funding from the Caravan of Mercy, speaking at a ceremony to hand over the water systems to the communities. The president of the Gunjaland Youth Association, Mohamed Amin Osman, called on the government to expedite action on the Damango and Salaga water projects, which are expected to serve a lot of communities in the region. We appreciate all the effort, but we think that we should do more to be able to speed up because we are entering into the dry season. They are, we are, our women are going to continue to travel kilometers upon kilometers in search of water. Children will have to leave schools to go and look for water. Even our farmers would have to go and look for water. And this is an issue and a problem that will draw us back. And we will, go to, we will suffer this and we pray that this whole problem should not come if the needed attention is given. From all other organizations, individuals, this is an organization we requested for assistance from and we've gotten something to give to the people. So we thank the government for the effort, but we think that the government should try as much as possible well to complete the ongoing ones, particularly Damango. We know of Salaga that is also ongoing and then uh, other areas. Let's take advantage of the river bodies we have. The black water is there, the white water is also there. If we are committed at getting water for our people, I believe that we should be able to use these water bodies and then generate water for the, the people. Mr. Amin Osman, whilst urging the communities to sustain the water systems, said the association will continue to explore opportunities to assist communities in Gonjaland. We are not able to assess it. We want the people to benefit from it. So the committee will manage the, the water and we have also our technical men who will be standing at any point in time to come in to support the people when there are technical issues with them. And so we will not leave the water to just stand here and become a white elephant. The people must benefit from it and will try as much as possible to sustain what we have here and also wish that other people will come on board to support Gondolan Youth Association to get water for our people. Water is a major challenge for over 70% of residents here in the Savannah region. And as the dry season begins, the crisis surely will increase. This intervention by the Gonjaland Youth Association to provide water for five communities in the region couldn't have come at a better time. Government still, however, has to extra action to complete the ongoing water projects in the region, especially the Demango and the Salaga water projects. For City News, I am Richard Fogo, Ajopi.